हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय ऑनलाइन क्लास इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ द ऑथर इज ट्राइंग टू बी फ्रेंड विद द रेड पिकर बॉयज हाउ सी हैड मेड फ्रेंडशिप विद साहिब एंड हिज आर्मी ऑफ रेड पिकर्स बट द ऑथर इज मच कंसर्न अबाउट द प्लाइट ऑफ दिस unprivileged children so while communicating with the boys c is more concerned with their bare foot now while thinking about their situation c is again remembering trying to remember a past story which c is going to narrate with us i remember a story a man from udipi once told me and this was the story with someone from udipi udipi is a small town in karnataka and that person has told uh, the author about this story as a young boy he would go to school past an old temple where his father was a priest he would stop briefly at the temple and pray for a pair of shoes so then that old man told the author that as a boy when he was a boy he uh, he used to go to school and on the way he there was a temple and at the gate of the temple every day he used to pray to get a pair of shoes 30 years later i visited the town and temple which was now drawn in an air of desolation so after 30 years when the author revisited the place c found the environment changing there was drastic changes in the uh, look in the environment of the place in the backyard where lived the new priest there were were red and white plastic chairs uh, a young boy dressed in gray uniform wearing socks and shoes arrived panting and threw his school bag on the on a folding bed so when the author raised at the temple she saw that at the back of the temple at the backyard of the temple uh, a new priest has come and there were colorful plastics all around and meanwhile a small boy well dressed in his school uniform came there panting and he threw his bag on the bed and ran away so thus the author has seen various changes so looking at that boy i rem- remembered the prayer another boy had made to the goddess when he had finally got a pair of shoes let me never lose them again looking at this well furnished boy she remember another boy who once uh, got a pair of shoes and prayed the goddess for its long lasting uh and the goddess had granted his prayer and it seemed that definitely the goddess has accepted the innocent boy's prayer the young boys like the son of the priest now wore shoes but many other like the red pickers in my neighborhood remains soulish now the author is just trying to compare the situation of the temple boy who is now having his shoes has increased his standard of living on the other hand uh, there were the rag pickers who are still walking barefoot my acquaintance with the barefoot rag pickers leads me to sima puri a place on the periphery of delhi yet miles away from it periphery means outskirt at the boundary so as the acquaintance between the boys and the author grew c was compelled to go to sima puri their dwelling places so now she said that although the area is very close to uh, delhi but it is still miles away in terms of progress and standard of living of the people those who live here are squatters who came from bangladesh back in 1971 sahib's family is among them sima puri was then a wilderness so all the inhabitants living in this area are 
squatters means migrants migrants or refugees who came from bangladesh during the war of 1971 and sahib's family is among them and at that time sima puri was a wilderness means a barren land or waste land it is still is but it is no longer empty the area is still barren but it is now it has been occupied by all these people its in a structure of mud with roofs of tin and tarpaulin devoid of sewage drainage or running water live 10000 rag pickers so all the 10000 rag pickers who are living in this area had mud structures of mud houses of mud with roofs of tin and tarpaulin tarpaulin is a waterproof cloth but all people all uh, people here are devoid of deprived of sewage drainage system or safe running uh, safe water drinking water they have lived here for more than 30 years without any identity without permit but with ration cards that get their name on voters list and enable them to buy grains food is more important for survival than an identity so now these people are living here for more than 30 years but still they don't have any identity and permits it means still they are living here illegally but they have got their ration cards it is because some of the political politicians might have get them issued their ration cards so that they can uh, give their name in the voter list and can uh, cast votes so only the politicians they are exploiting these poor people as a voters only and no one is caring about their life and <clears throat> conditions and for them food is more important than identity if at the end of the day we can feed our families and go to bed without an aching stomach we would rather live here than in the field that gave us no green says a group of women in tattered saris when i ask them why they left their beautiful land of green fields and rivers so when <clears throat> the author asks different women that why they shifted migrated from their native lands where they have their green meadows fields then the woman replied that it is better to have stomach full of food this place has uh given us food and a livelihood but our native land there due to storms and floods uh they have to face a uh, large damage and many times as a farmer they have to sleep empty stomach so they prefer to stay in delhi than dhaka wherever they find food they pitch their tents and become transit homes children grow up in them becoming partners in survival and survival in sima puri means rag picking so whenever their children grew up as a man they give their helping hand in collecting food by rag picking or uh, yes the main occupation in that area for these people is only rag picking they don't have any alternatives though the years it acquired the proportion of a fine art garbage to them is gold it is their daily bread a roof over their head even if it a leaking roof but for a child it is even more so here garbage is gold for these poor people because by picking waste materials by picking some discarded material from that huge heaps of dumps they get their food so it is like gold for them and uh it by picking the waste material they get some money through which they arrange their food and shelter sometimes i find a rupee even a 10 rupee note sahib says his eyes lighting up when you can find a silver coin in a heap of garbage you don't stop scrounging for there is a hope for finding more 
it seems that for children garbage has a meaning different from what it means to their parents now sahib is informing talking with the author that sometimes he find a rupee and sometimes a 10 rupee note and when a child find a silver coin then he is compelled to search more and more with the hope of getting something more within the heap of dumps so garbage has a different meaning for the boys and the for the grown ups for the children it is wrapped in wonder for the elders it is it is a means of survival so the elderly people they simply treat these a uh, dumps rags as a means of livelihood but for the children it is a treasure full of wonder where they get different colored uh materials and wonderful uh, things from the garbage one winter morning i see sahib standing by the fence gate of the neighborhood club watching two young men dressed in white playing tennis so again it is an incident of another day the author uh, one once saw sahib uh, standing at the fence of a tennis club where he was watching two man playing tennis i like the game he humps content to watch it is standing behind the fence i go inside when no one is around he admits the gatekeeper lets me use the swing then sahib uh inform the author that he likes the game but he was much contented to uh watch other people playing and when there were no men inside the club then he used to go inside and play and he also says that the gatekeeper sometimes permits him to go inside and there he uses the swing sahib too is wearing tennis shoes that look strange over his discolored short and shoes again the next day when author met sahib he was wearing sports shoes but they were not matching with their with his discolored shorts and shorts someone gave them to me he says in the manner of an explanation then sahib told the author that someone has gifted it to me the fact that they are discarded shoes of some rich boy who perhaps refused to wear them because of a hole in one of them and refused to wear them uh, for one who has walked barefoot even shoes with a hole in a dream come true but the game he is watching so intently is out of his reach so now the author guesses that these new shoes uh, were given or gifted by a rich boy uh, because there was a hole in one of the shoe but for a boy who never wore shoes a hole in the shoes does not matter he is contented to wear the new shoes but the boy but sahib who is watching the tennis for him it is a dream it is a dream to play the game this morning sahib is on his way back to the milk booth in his hand is a steel canister again the next day after a few days when author met sahib she saw him uh, with a canister in his hand canister means a can for uh taking milk i know i now walk in a t stall down the road he says pointing in 
the distance. I am paid 800 rupees and all my meals. Then Saib uh, informed the author that, that now he had got a job in a tea stall and now he is getting 800 rupees per month and three times meal by the owner. And he just tried to point out the shop from a distance to the author. Does he like the job? I asked his face. I see has lost the carefree look. But as soon as the author inquired Saib about whether he liked his new job, whether he is happy with his new job, then she could easily phrase the changes the expressions on his face. His face I see has lost the carefree look. So there was anxiety and tension on his face. The steel canister seems heavier than the plastic bag he would carry so lightly over his shoulders. But now that cane, that canister seems to be heavier than the bag full of rags or waste material. The bag was his. The canister belongs to the man who owns the tea shop. Saib is no longer his own master. So, now, what is the difference? Because today that canister is not his own. It belongs to his master. Now today he is working as a servant. But while, when he was working as a rag picker, he was the owner. His he was his own master and the bag which he used to carry was his own. But today he owned nothing and somehow he has lost his freedom and identity. But today Sahib is not content, not happy with his new job as he is not free. He has to act according to his master. So that's the end of our first part and soon we will give you our uh, next lecture. Till then, goodbye, take care.